Hey guys, welcome back and welcome to the brand new build that we're starting this year. Now, as you guys would have seen by the thumbnail, um, we actually are putting in a 500cc engine in this thing and we are making it four wheel drive. Now, the differential I have planned for the front, I've never seen anything done like it in a lawnmower, so I'm really keen to see how that goes. So first thing we're gonna do is strip everything down, get rid of all these suspension wheels, everything, get rid of that engine. We're gonna put it on the table and put our engine in and just see how everything looks. Alright guys, so we've finally got the mower on the table here, it's all welded up, um, just tack welded in place so it can't go anywhere. I will do the same with the back section. We've cut it down the guts here and we've extended it about 8.5 inches. Now this is going to allow for a lot longer wheelbase, hopefully it's long enough. Um, now with the suspension, we are actually going to have to make it come out to about here, because um, this just will not be wide enough, this table, so I'm going to have to try and improvise with that. The next thing I want to do is cut out the front here and we'll drop in that engine so you guys can have a closer look at what we've picked up there and then we can put the bonnet on and hopefully we can just lay out the suspension and just see how this thing's gonna look.
righty guys, check this out. This looks like an absolute beast. We've got that 500cc motor sitting there. It is a super tight squeeze in, uh, inside these chassis rails. Um, so we're gonna have to trim that bonnet once we go to put that on. Um, hopefully we'll be able to sort of trim around the top and make this thing close. Now the plan is for the chassis, um, we're gonna use a bit of RHS. So we're gonna come along on the inside and around the front and that'll just give us a nice frame to add everything to, nice and square. Um, using that round tubing like we did on uh, Big Red has actually made it quite hard to make all the tabs. So I think if we may make this part out of box tube, it should be a lot easier. Now I've got our CB axles there. I actually pulled them out of a TS uh, Holden Astro the other day. So we've got this side here is nice and short. The other side we've got to lengthen. Um, these rear CVs are just ones I had laying around. Uh, we won't be using them. We'll be using hopefully a set of uh, ones with a flange on the end because we're actually going to make in the back a solid uh, like a mini mini spool, CV spool, like solid spool sort of thing. Um, so that'll be gear driven. And then in the front, we're gonna make a chain driven differential because if we try and turn this thing around corners, being all wheel drive, it will lock up. So that's the plan for that. Um, we'll connect the, the centers together, have a jack shaft in the center. So we'll have the chain running down our jack shaft and that'll run the front and run the back, hopefully at the same speeds. And yeah, I think this thing's just gonna be an absolute weapon. Um, as of the wheelbase, I'm going to try and keep it roughly wheels out to about here, maybe, maybe a bit more in, uh, try and figure out some sort of wheels. Now we are going to jump back onto Big Red because I will be waiting on some parts for this thing. Um, this will just sort of be in the background just when we've got parts, we'll be jumping back onto that there. Just one quick thing I forgot to mention is this engine is actually a Suzuki GS 500 CC. So this thing should be really fast for this setup that we're doing. Now I got this thing a couple of weeks back, actually really cheap and it came with absolutely everything. So it uh, should be fairly easy to get this thing together and make it run, um, unlike the issues we had on Big Red. So yeah, I'm definitely keen to see this thing go. Guys, I know today's video was a little bit shorter than usual, but um, I just wanted to get this in uh, for the new year and show you guys what I've had planned. Uh, I've been holding this thing off for many, many months now and I just cannot wait to get stuck into it. So if you guys like the build, definitely give it a thumbs up and drop your comments down below what you'd like to see us do with this thing. And if you guys have a name for this thing, definitely drop it down below. I do want to give this thing a bit of a nickname, so definitely comment below. In the next video, we'll be jumping back onto Big Red, so stay tuned for that one. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in the next one.